Welcome to another Minecraft video. It's been a while, but today I want to show you guys my first attempt at trying to uh, create Wordle inside Minecraft. I know that Palace and Moon from the Hermitcraft server has recently done that, and it was very fascinating just watching her tackle the different challenges, learn about uh, Redstone while doing that, because after all, even in the simplest form, this would be a very advanced project and she's done quite a few little extra bits here and there and it's working amazingly and it's a very elegant system and also very reasonable in terms of the stuff that you still need to do manually but also it has a lot of things automated and it's just, it's just amazing. As somebody who already knows a lot of Redstone just seeing the leaps that she made, uh, just trying to design the entire thing and come up with solutions to the different problems, it was amazing. But yeah, as I said already, her, st her stuff is just very reasonable in terms of how she executed it. I don't like reasonable. I want to go crazy and that's what I did here. So there are a few things that I'm attempting to make work, including having words with um, the same letter multiple times and just also a few other things that I kind of found uh, nice about the idea. For example, I will be using banners as um, a stand in for the different letters. That's gonna make the entire thing very easy to read as you can already tell. And yeah, I didn't want to have multiple different containers for the same or just one for each um, letter. I wanted to put all of it into one single hopper since hoppers already have only five item slots and Wordle of course is mostly played with five uh, letters. So this is kind of working out uh, perfectly well here. I'm still considering to maybe go with something else instead of a hopper. After all, when it comes to decoration, hoppers are usually used in one of two ways, either as a sink or as a toilet bowl. And considering that I have a flush button over here for this thing, um, it's most likely the latter in this case. So I need to put in a bit more time trying to make this look nice. Otherwise, maybe I'll go with a barrel or a chest or something. Maybe a dispenser or no, um, I definitely want something that's at least um, five items long. Three by three would be very awkward. But yeah, right now, one hopper, all of the letters go in there and from there on it's gonna do the entire item sorting thing and everything. Correct letters that are in the correct position are gonna come back in this barrel right here and I'm gonna make sure that even if you maybe only got the third or fourth letter it's gonna come up in the correct position so there will be a few placeholder items in between which will then be sucked down again and yeah, you're only gonna have uh, items in the end. That's currently the biggest problem that I'm facing, making uh, multiple of the same letter work because when they come back up here, there's really no way of um, trying to not have them stack. So if I had uh, two L's in here, they would be coming up like so. That's a bit disappointing, but I don't think I can do much about it. Unless I was to give players multiple different versions of um, the letters and say that if you have a suspicion of um, the same letter being in the word twice, the second one should be um, from this um, stack then. <laughs> Maybe use green letters instead of blue ones. No, I'm not going to try that. That would be more confusing than what it would help. Anyways, uh, besides correct letters, there's also included letters but not in the correct order and wrong letters that aren't in the word at all. So that's pretty much the same as the um, stuff in the real game. As far as the whole room here is concerned, of course that's still work in progress. I need to fix a few holes in the wall and I will mo most likely just recreate uh, and reorganize this entire room uh, in, and just see what I can come up with that looks a bit nicer. This is more of a placeholder that's showing me that I need multiple different inputs and of course I would need to have a chest that has all of the banners and um, therefore the letters. 
I already got all the letters set up here, so that should be pretty easy to deal with. I might recreate a few, like the C over here has a few weird um, bits hanging off here. I try to go simple for the most part, there are a few fancy letters at the start, but in the end, I went with the one that I found to be the most easy to read. Especially stuff like J, there was also much more fancy J that looked better overall. But some of these letters were a bit harder to read uh, from that, and I wanted things to be um, easy on the eye, so that's the highest priority here. But enough about that, let's really talk about the redstone now after almost six minutes. So, behind the starting area, we have an item sorter array. But it's not a regular item sorter, it's a bit special. First up, you will find the program word in here. This, wo this word is a bit short, even though it's still five letters. And the way this all works is that, while on this side we have um, stuff for the item sorter, on this side there's an entirely different system, and this is actually locking the item sorters. So right now, any item coming through here, even if it was the correct letter, it wouldn't be picked up by the sorters at all. And this is because this one is only going to let the correct I, the correct letter in the correct space through. So if I try to go through and um, send my hello in, while the correct answer would be short, it should just go through this entire thing. And yeah, that's all of the letters again. So they don't get picked up even though short has an O in it. It's just in the wrong space and therefore doesn't work. Um, there is a bit of timing involved here, so this is the input hopper where you can put in all your um, all of your letters. And as soon as this one is empty, um, I mean as long as it's, you know what, I'll put in the word again just to make this easier to explain. As long as there's stuff in here, this repeater is gonna be on and therefore this entire system is going to be blocked. No items will enter the um, item sorter. And as soon as this empties out, once you press the button, once there's no item in there anymore, um, the um, repeater is going to turn off. But the other side here with the torch and the repeater has a tiny bit of a longer delay and therefore for one or two ticks it's going to allow items to pass through here. And that's only gonna happen when the, uh, the first letter is above this item sorter here, second above this one, third above this one, and uh, so on. So that's how it does the entire um, sorting thing for the correct uh, item, and I mean for the correct letter. And yeah, before the uh, letter gets to move on to the next space, it's gonna be blocking the entire system again. So as you saw, if there's uh, no correct letter in here, it's just all gonna go through, and it will be going into the next part of the system then. And yeah, those parts are all kinda set up, but they still need to be rebuilt closer to this system. I just thought it would be easier to explain it in in chunks instead of trying to do everything while it's basically, this entire thing would be adjacent to this one, so blocking off this part over here. That one would be below here and just, it would be way too full. Anyways, on this end we can find the item sorter. And there is also a bit of a, another system over here and this is just a little memory unit. Basically the first time you get the correct letter for any of the spaces, this one is gonna flip a bit, turn on the torch over here send a signal out to the respective um, copper lamp, and then that lamp will be turning on. For example, um, if I did something like this, we have short uh, programmed in, so S-H-O-R-T. So we should now see these two um, uh, lamps turning on in a moment. Thank God it didn't disappoint me, that would have been very embarrassing. 
But yeah, this um, basically tells me that two of the items were correct and therefore now that has been turned on. I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep it that way because, um, well, I could now put in any other name if, or any other word if I want to and it would still be um, on just like uh, it is right now. It would still at least give me the information that I at least guessed uh, part of a word correctly and yeah, those two, um, those two letters would be coming up here again. So the H in this space, the O in this one, and then some uh, space holder items in the, in the rest of it. But yeah, this is how this entire system is working right now. And if I want to reset after a round, I basically just need to hit this button and it's going to put out another signal to turn this off again. So these are just regular flip-flops, so no T flip-flop, meaning that even if it gets the same, um, the same word or the same letter multiple times correct, only the first one is going to flip the bit. And in order to turn this off again, I need to activate a second reset line. Just so that it doesn't uh, desync for some reason if I have the same thing correctly again, the stuff would turn off again. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep it this way or if there's maybe a better way of handling things, but I'll have to see about that. Also, another thing that I wanted to um, take good care of, uh, I got uh, confused for a moment. I wanted to make this thing easily reprogrammable. So if I want to put in another word for other people to guess it, I wanted a way to reset all the item filters very quickly. So right now we still have a short in here. And if I press this button over here, since I set this entire thing up in a way that I only have one item in the frontmost uh, spot, if I give the entire item sorter a very short signal, it's just gonna clean out the first slot. So all I need to do now, if I want to um, switch this over to use hello as a program word, is put hello in here, press the button, and that's it. Now we should have all the correct uh, letters in here. And since it's only allowing the items to go through for a very short time, we even have um, the same letter in two different spaces. So that's all working out pretty well here. I think this is also activating the entire lamp system here right now, so I would need to do another reset. So now it would be good to go again. And short meanwhile has been recycled through here. I would need to have another set of hoppers that could maybe allow me to um, get rid of that and just drain it from the system. And I also set up the hoppers here in a way that despite being theoretically locked by the um, torch, they are still going to allow the items to flow through. And that's gonna help out things quite a bit. Let's now move on to the next part of the system, which is going to be below the um, first set of item sorters. So once again, this is going to be for um, detecting the correct letters in the correct space. And from this system to there, I will just be taking the five, um, the five uh, hopper lines going down here. And they are actually going to go into this thing. Likely gonna have to turn the entire thing around, but that shouldn't be um, too much of a distraction. Now that I have hello set up in that system, this is the letters that it would be expecting. And it would um, get them as an input over here. And then just put them into the dropper right here. And there would only be one item per hopper at a time. So if I go with, let me just um, disable it for a moment. Just to give you guys an example. Because this is going to be the system that puts the items back in as it uh, should. I mean, let's, uh, let me just grab those. Um, this is to get the items in the correct hopper or into the uh, correct letter section. 
and make sure that they are spaced correctly, that they are in the right space. So maybe if I guess the H, if I guess the L, if I guess the O, this is what it would look like in the end, apart from it only being one from each item, but who cares right now? This is just the system and the principle behind it. So what's going to happen here is that basically once we get one of those items in here, and let's say I guessed the H, the first L, and the O correctly, these would go in here. We have some uh, comparators looking into the um, droppers to make sure that there are items in there. And this is going to do a few things here. First up, down below, there is a little um, end gate. And if all of these uh, have items in there at the same time, then I'm going to get a sound because, well, at that moment I have won the game. I've guessed the word and that would be the end of it. But it also does a completely different thing here. And this is in case I only guessed a few of the uh, letters. In order to send them back up and have them in the right uh, place, I would need to fill in some placeholder items. And this is what's going to happen here. Basically, um, if any item is here already, so the right letter has been guessed, it's gonna activate the piston and move the send out of the way, so no signal is gonna come through here. And therefore, in these uh, droppers where we can find the placeholder items, None of these would be going through here either. And yeah, that's how I sort out which um, spaces actually need a placeholder item. The last one, of course, not getting one because why would it need one? There's never gonna be another letter behind the last uh, one, so if that's an empty space, then it doesn't really matter. It just needs to be de detected for the victory and in case anything else hasn't been um, figured out. So if I only had the O correctly, then um, the rest of the um, stuff here would get activated. And from here, all that it really does is it goes into a signal extender just to give everything a bit of time to get settled. And once that runs out, it sends a short signal pulse to all of the droppers over here and the droppers right here. Basically, this is the output line of the system, going back to the barrel up, bill, up on top. And the correct letters would then be shot into the line here from this side. Placeholder items would be coming in from this side. So that, well, since I have the H already, that would get a signal from here, shoot the item in. The other side would go into the last block, therefore nothing would be dropped through here. And then the next letter is something that I don't have, therefore, well, the dropper is activated, but it doesn't really do anything because there's nothing in there. But on this side, the observer will um, get the signal, put it through the sand block, activate the dropper, and put an ice in the um, stream. And since um, all the um, hoppers are going this direction. First one is always going to be the H, has the shortest way to the exit. Then the second item would have um, uh, this uh, way to go through. Third one would come around here, have a slightly, a slightly longer way as well. And so on and so forth. Problem with this is, it's really not working in a logical way, and that has given me a major headache a while ago when I tried to make this entire thing work. Initially, I had all the uh, droppers activate at the same time, and I thought that, hey, all the items are in the dropper, they are going to shoot up into the hopper at the same time, they are going to go into the adjacent hopper at the same time, and at that point, since this one is just a conga line going to the exit of the system, they would already be in the first, uh, in the correct way, the first letter leading the, um, the conga train, second letter right behind it, third one, after that fourth one, and then the last one. It, for some reason, doesn't work that way. What happened, and this is something that I only figured out when trying the tick warp feature, 
and just letting it go through tick by tick. All of the items enter the, um, uh, the hoppers in the order that they should, but for some reason, the item over here stays in the, ho in the hopper for a bit longer than it should. The second item is gonna go into this hopper as well, going into the second slot, and then everything behind it is gonna pass this letter before that one gets moving. So instead of ending up with hello over here, or in this case, in this case, L um, spare item L spare item O, um, it would look something like this if I send the entire word through. So the second letter would always be at the end and everything would come before it, so that's, um, it's weird. I have no explanation for, the, for this apart from something weird to do with how Minecraft is set up to run on Java. Just from how the, all of the components work with the delays and everything, this shouldn't be happening. But it was easily fixable by just adding more delay to the entire thing. Anyways, anyways I um, talked enough about this. Let's see if this entire thing works. Again, we have the H in here. The first L and then the O. And the rest should get some filler items. And that's exactly what's happening here. And from here it would just go into a dropper. Likely space it out a bit slower so that the items cannot catch up and overtake one another. And then this would go up into this barrel. Stay here for a moment. Let's say we have the um, the HLO in here. And then maybe this would be the space holder items. Basically what would be happening here is that down below I would have one stack of um, one of the placeholder items, one stack of the other. They would be kinda not fully um, filled up, so that there would still be space for at least some of them. And that would be the case for four of these, because I would need four different placeholder items. Um, when everything comes up here, the hopper would be locked. And after a while, when everything is definitely in here, this would um, be unlocked and therefore just be pulling out all of the placeholders. And sooner than later, it should look something like this, basically. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna use four different um, light gray stained uh, glass. And maybe just name it with different amounts of uh, space bar, if that's possible. I think that would be the most elegant way. And again, you would always still get some um, info about these. But yeah, that's how that whole thing would work. I would then need to come up with a system to bring back the placeholders to down here, but that's really only a minor issue. Doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, anyways, enough about this one here. That's basically all that this thing does, and I think it's working quite nicely for what is uh, required of it. The next part would be um, the detection for any item that is actually in the, in the word, but not in the correct space. So anything that has been filtered through here is gonna go into this system in order to see if a, if a letter is even in the word to begin with or if it's completely wrong. <coughs> And the way this all works is basically very similar to what we have here. We have item sorters on one side, and on the other there's a system to lock the item sorters. And this is actually going to work automatically, and basically it's going to allow two of the same item to be in here. First one, to set the item sorter, uh, just to know which uh, letter should be in the word to begin with. And the second one, once you get an actual um, an actual letter to stack here, it's gonna lock the entire thing. The difference now is between um, this and this, that right now this system's only outputting a signal strength of one, and yeah, it's going two different directions. If I go any higher than this, it's gonna go to signal strength two, and therefore 
this one is actually going into a repeater and just over the top of the entire thing. Coming back around on the other side and going back down to block the entire thing. I could have gone with rails here. I tried that out, but I had some weird issues with um, getting out of sync and that kind of stuff. So I decided to go with permanent signals. So if this thing is on, it's going to stay on. It's not going to be just a single short pulse or anything. So this is far more robust and cannot be um, bricked up that easily. Problem is it's also a bit more cumbersome because I needed a signal strength of exactly 15 because that's what's allowing me to get multiple signals with um, the wires touching. Basically, um, any signal going through the repeater here will only reach the um, target block in line with itself because everything else would be further away and the signal doesn't travel that far. At the same time, the entire thing is also putting another signal out um, further down here. Same thing with signal strength, never gonna bleed up over into the other line. But with anything that's getting activated here, it's gonna send a signal down here. And this is actually for the reset. Right now, the entire thing here is blocked. The item that has been put into here is not leaving. And any further items are not gonna come in here. So if I was to program hello into this entire thing, we would have, um, and yeah, I didn't set up any of the other item sorters yet. I would have one L in this one and another one over here. So two different item sorters because the same letter comes up twice in the same word. And that's how it would be dealing with that here. And the entire thing needed to be fast enough to actually shut down any of the item sorters once an item goes through, just so that if I have an L in here, we don't suddenly end up with both Ls coming in, going through here and uh, blocking up the system. So that's why the entire thing works as it does. And yeah, it now also activates um, basically a pass-through for the reset signal. After every guess, I need to do a reset here to send the um, correct letters back up front, just so that the player knows that they actually got something correct. And also to allow um, for the next guest to have um, letter go in here again. And for that, I'm just gonna go and activate the, um, the signal here. And it can only go through if a piston above has been activated to push down the block. And then it's gonna go and um, just quickly empty out one item from over here. At which point it's also just gonna stop allowing any um, signals to go through. There's a bit of an error with the current version, but that's something that I can fix um, going forward. And yeah, these ones, the included letters, would then go back to the um, barrel up front. The way I want to handle this, in the end, the reset signal, it just needs to come after all of the um, items have been put through here. So I would like to just get a comparator output from here, run it into a signal extender to give the entire thing a bit more time. But as soon as all of the um, items had enough uh, time to pass through the item sorters, then the reset uh, should be going off, allowing the correct uh, letters to go back up top and be uh, seen by the player. That's how that part works. And of course, I would also need a reset for the entire word in case I want to change it. This might be a bit more complicated here, but I think if you just um, send the correct word that you want to program in through this one twice, then it should always uh, work out correctly. One of the copies would need to be taken out and be put out um, somewhere else. Just, um, yeah, one of them would just be to fill up all the hoppers once to make sure that if I have the um, same letter twice, if I'm in the programming phase, basically putting in the stuff once would mean that the other one could also come in. I don't know if I was clear on that. Basically, if I put in the word hello, uh, one L would be going into the um, into one of the item uh, sorters right here as the... Um, sorter item right here. The second one would be going in 
as like the fill up version to um, confirm the guess or something. And then I would need to put the um, same item through again, just so that it reaches the next item hopper and claims that for itself. Should be easy enough. And then I just need to reset the entire thing once, just so that uh, one of the items gets um, pulled out out of every one of these and that could go to some sort of uh, spare chest or something. I'll have to see how I deal with um, with all the nuances with, um, with the reset system once I get everything put together. Right now part of it is really just theory. Another thing I want to do with the uh, um, included letters once I bring them back to the front, I will put them into a dropper and I'll make sure that all of the um, letters are going to reach the dropper before it activates. I want to use that as a randomizer just so that uh, nobody can see um, from the order in which the included letters arrive that actually, oh, that letter is, um, must be first or second in the word, or something like that. So they are going to get randomized before they are being put back into the system so that it's not giving out any hints that it shouldn't, just from the order of its arrival. And yeah, everything that's uh, being put in here it's just gonna go into the wrong letter se section and that's gonna be it for that. Nothing really too complicated. And yeah, the last things I need to take care of once everything is being put together, once I figure out what to do with um, this entire thing here, I need a counter for the amount of tries that somebody has done. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. And maybe I built an entire wall where, where, where those people can actually stick up their um, uh, guest words, just to have um, behind them somewhere easy to reach, easy to read, and once the game is over, I might just retract the entire wall so that they would pop off and be caught up by a, by a set of uh, hoppers to put them back into the system as well. I think that should be easy enough. But yeah, still a lot of work here. And one thing that I also want to mention, and this is gonna be a bit complicated as well. There is a chance that maybe somebody puts in the word hello, and maybe they got the L correctly, but the L is only supposed to be in the word once. If I don't um, connect these systems uh, properly together, it could be the case that one of the Ls they put in will be in this system. So we put out as the correct letter in the correct place. And the other L would be going into this system. And then we put here, just we put into the L um, item sorter. So we'll get uh, one L back as correct uh, letter in the correct place. And one L as in the correct letter but wrong place. So the system would basically telling the person that they need to use two Ls while maybe there's only one necessary. So what I need to do is I need to find some way to get another output from here and make sure that I just get it connected from here to this system. So in case I get the third letter L, I need to block off the item sorter for that letter. So that it doesn't put um, two letters through um, this one and that one simultaneously and giving people uh, wrong um, outputs uh, as a result of that. And yeah, I'm gonna see how that's gonna work. I mean, I figured out this whole system with um, 15 signal strength. Maybe I should take care that when I rebuild these two systems that they are in line with each other, although that's definitely not possible. Uh, that's gonna suck. But I'll figure out something. It's gonna work out one way or the other, but yeah, it's something that I'm aware of right now that needs to be done. And everything else remains to be seen. But yeah, anyways, that's all that I got so far. I mean, not a really working system as of yet, but I think there are a few cool uh, concepts. Maybe stuff that can also be used for something else in the future. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was at least useful anyways. And 
yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Other than that, have a good one. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching and till then. Bye bye.